I was on the fence about buying this fight after I saw that press conference, I'm going to buy Tedesco. What can you say to the people about buying this fight? If you can, in my opinion, it'd be better. I can't. So, Brian, how are you guys doing? I like to see what you say. I like to see what you guys were squaring. I was like, 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 I I'm sitting there like, and people are coming up to the podium. I'm like, who are these people? I don't know who any of these people are. I couldn't even hear them. I'm like, whatever, just roll with it. But I'm just kind of floating around, having a bit of fun, enjoying myself. And I'm going to kill this man August 26th. And then I'm going to roll in and take over. Then I'll do, I'll make, you know what I mean? So just, it's, just, it's a different, different environment now. But I'm enjoying it. People are taking your training videos and putting them side by side with his, mm -hmm. and sort of mocking you and, 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 and talking about your hand speed and things yeah, like that. What do you say to those people who say I they saw, want to land a punch? I saw a couple of like a speed ball, different bag. I was on a proper heavy bag. The upper cut bag is a heavy, heavy bag that is. Um, look, people say this all the time. It's August 26th. Let's see what they say then. And, and you say you're less than four? Is that the official version? I think so, yeah. And last thing, what were the things that he was sort of being a stickler about? You mentioned, you know, the Mexican uh, gloves. So I'm saying, it's like Mexican, you know, it's got to be 10 ounces, it can't be Mexican-made gloves, there's some people who's made on Porsche, and I'm like, I didn't even know there was a difference. So, I spar with six ounce. So, and that's just sparring. We fight with four, and like I said, we're only wearing gloves a few years in their game, so I just don't, I'm just laughing at it all, whatever. Just. I just have the checks ready and I'm going to steam through your boy, take the bread and take over this whole game as well. Connor, last question. Uh, you offered a manager sparring a, a position in your camp. Can you talk to us about that? Call him manager? Yeah, look, look, I think. I'm probably talking about shit. I'm just talking to you. They should have spoke behind you. You said, no, give me some money. Uh, whatever, I don't care. He's just talking. Look, he's, he's being brought in to spar and then he'll answer to what he's been saying and then we'll go from there after that. Connor, so he's not there to help you? I mean, look. We're gonna have a knock, and he's gonna have to answer to what he's been saying. Then maybe we can talk, and then we'll see after that. Connor, let's fast forward. Night before, what are you doing? Where's your head at? Where are you? Night before the fight? Yeah. Yeah, just calm, yeah. composed, ready to go. The work's been done at that moment, so the weight's been made. So just enjoying food and relaxing. And your number one tip for the Connor McGregor School of Trash Talk. We saw some uh, prime examples up there today. Just don't give a bollocks. Don't just roll in and don't care. That's it. Connor, how can you say UFC on the, on the banner? Actually, and it says that McGregor Sports great, Entertainment. Look yeah. at that, look. That's Who's working for who here? That's what I'm saying. There you go, Mario. There might be others on. Now, look. I'm very proud of this. I have to say, look at it. Think of where we were, look at it. MMA is just all oh, roll. You know what I mean? Rolls up, so. I don't know. I'm blown away and I'm just, I'm just extremely happy and I'm proud and. and grateful that this is this is my life and I'm at the building up this empire and, and I'm still only 28 and Floyd was 28 he was nowhere near this level so and it's, it's, he was on Oscars undercard Floyd wasn't on no poster you know what I'm saying yeah. so look I'm, I'm I'm just a happy 
hard working on that. Will you make over a hundred million for this? Conrad. If it clears the Pacquiao number, that'll clear it. It's clear you like to have fun. You talked about the suit on stage, but seeing it in person is kind of nice, amazing. Could you please tell me about the suit? Because it's brilliant. Just fuck off on the on this Vince right. That's it. I got. No, but uh, yeah. All the way. My Big money, it's a big business, and of course, we all need fucking suits. That's what I'm saying. And I get the design clothes, and I'll be part of that. I love fashion, fashion's very similar to fighting, and it's, it's all about the, the, the small details. Are you still planning on fighting December 30th for UFC? If all goes well, what was really making me want to do that December 30th fight was <coughs> the Forbes list. I thought the Forbes, I thought it was like year to January to, right. to January, you know what I mean, or the end of the year to the start of year, but it's actually June to June. So I was, so I thought I had more time to hit the number one spot this year. So I had a fall Floyd and then the December fight, that would have put me in number one spot. But it's actually July to July. So I was 24th this year, which is a great jump from 84 the year before. I mean, I said I'd fight, I'm gonna fight. I am, I am, I always wanna fight, right? I mean, I'm an active motherfucker. What, what else would I do? Who's the front runner right now? I tell you what, it's chopping and changing. It's chopping <laughs> and changing. I mean, I, I, I'm just like, who's fighting? Who's, I see people who's just talking. People who's talking like about defending bells and doing this and doing that. And that actually hasn't fought. I fought since they black. You know what I mean? They fought way before me even. Right. And I haven't fought since. They're just yapping, yapping, yapping. So, um, I'm just looking at people who are coming out and having and fighting. Um, there's a few up there. Let's see what happens. Who sticks out? We'll, we'll see how it plays out. Okay. But there's a few, you know what, you know what's what. All right. Would you consider a, a career boxing after this? Because you could make so much money. Now. I am boxing. Let's <laughs> go right here. Let's go right here. Yeah, this next group right here. Okay. Connor, Oscar, yeah. Oscar De La Hoya has spoke about uh, this fight. You know, he has his criticism about this fight. His cash cow, his biggest pay-per-view attraction is Canelo Alvarez. How would you have done against Canelo Alvarez in this fight? I'd spark Canelo as well. Um, Oscar's a fool. Let's be real, he's an absolute fool of the just there's so much bitterness in him and he just he's just a troubled man. You just see it in his face and all, he's just a fucked up one of he he's a donkey. Fuck Oscar. Are you surprised how critical he was of your matchup? I don't give a fuck. I couldn't give a ball again with that bitterness and that jealous old shit. It's like sort your own problems out, mate, because you've got a lot of them. You appear much more bigger than Floyd up there on stage. Are you gonna use that to your advantage? I'm saying like he's just too small. He's just too small. You just don't you can't, you can't, that's the be all end all here. My fist will break his guard. He can he can be defensive and catch the shots and do his thing, but if he catches the a shot on the glove, it's gonna rattle his whole brain. And that's the end of it. Connor, so Floyd out there said that he would drop down in glove sizes. Do you think he'd ever, ever do that? Hey, he's hoping, he's sure. cried about the gloves. 10 ounce, 8, or it had to be, it was 8, then it had to be 10, I was like, then he'd do 40, whatever, he's Floyd, Floyd, and he's old. Um, Start trying to say you do MMA next and all this. I was like, don't you say shit you want to do. But uh, whatever it was for. <laughs> that was good, man. You're, you're obviously the fan favorite out there, I mean, judging by the crowd yeah. noise. Um, do you think uh, do you think this will do uh, more for the sport of boxing and MMA as a whole? Sport, in general. Combat sport. You know, kids will look at this and just dream of big things. You know what I mean? And in the media, every, look, we're all eating here. Everybody's eating and everybody's busy and everybody's walking and life is good. So it's a great thing for everything. And most importantly, who designed your suit? It's fantastic. This is David August. This is my guy, my suit. Uh, this is the August McGregor on the cover of our own line of suits. Uh, this is my book game suit. Connor. Looking fresh. Connor, it's no secret that's uh, in the boxing world that Floyd's hands are leaving him. How do you plan to use that's that? That's what I said to him. I was like, how's them little brittle? How do you say? Sand knocked me out in the fourth round. I was like, mate, how's them little brittle hands? I said, I goes, I saw her in the cold weather. How do you plan to exploit that? Running in and bouncing shots off his head. <laughs>